sort of emaciated to the point of death, and he was also missing about two-thirds of his tail, which was um, really, really badly infected. We, we already knew he was going to have to be euthanized. Uh, I've never seen an animal looking so bad. Um, so we, we spoke to forestry. We, we spoke to um, a wildlife vet up in Cayo. Um, and, you know, everybody kind of agreed that it was, it was best to end the animal's misery. Right, and after he was put down, um, I believe you guys did an incision on him to find out what was going on yeah. inside? Well, we, we, we did a necropsy just so we could find out what else was going on inside other than the, the obvious external injuries. Um, you know, when we got to the stomach, we, we could see that the stomach was, was full to the brim, absolutely filled. Um, but the intestines were shriveled and tiny from lack of use. Um, and we could feel when we felt the stomach, we could feel it was full and it was solid, but it wasn't natural. Um, and as soon as we made that first incision into the stomach, uh, you, you saw the plastic immediately. It, it, was, it was just full of plastic. You didn't have to dig around. It was just absolutely compacted with plastic bags. Wow. I mean, what was your reaction when you saw something like this? I imagine it was, it was quite, quite a sight. Oh, yeah, you're horrified. I've never seen nothing like it. I mean, you know, you, you, you find the odd one or two bags, you know, when you do a necropsy in a cross. You know, same as, as marine animals out in the ocean, you know, you, you do a necropsy here and there, and you, you find the odd plastic bag that's, that's been accidentally ingested. But this was the 82 plastic bags, 82. Uh, never seen nothing like that. It's insane, absolutely insane. Uh, this animal starved to death on a full stomach. Uh, it's insanity, absolute insanity. Right. Chris, what? would have caused that crock to have consumed or ingested so many plastic bags? Uh, I don't know. Um, my, my first thought is people feeding them to him. Um, some could be accidental ingestion. Um, you know, the, 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 these animals have been habituated to come for chickens. So if there's a bag on the floor and they're hungry and it smells like chicken, they might pick it up. But uh, that was not the case with some of these. You know, most of these bags were chicken bags. Um, some of them were whole chicken bags. Some of them were the innards, you know, that have like the guts and things in them that you find inside the whole chicken. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of them were the bags that have neck and back in them. Now, when we pulled these bags out of the stomach, some of them were bags inside bags. Um, a lot of them were folded up into very tight little squares. We now have 82 more reasons to, to really look at this illegal feeding and the, and the impact that it's having. So, you know, we're, we're left with the question now of how many more of these animals up there find themselves in that situation with, with stomachs full of plastic. Um, it, it, so let's just say for, for the sake of argument that it was accidental ingestion. How bad is the garbage that a predator would accidentally ingest 82 plastic bags and, and you got to think it's not just the crocodiles everything else out there is ingesting this stuff is ingesting this garbage all right from turtles out in the ocean to little fish that are feeding down on the microplastics like this, this is in, it's affecting the entire ecosystem